As the days tick on, we are getting closer and closer to February 11th, and if you don't know what that day is, that is the first day of Modern Warfare Season 2. And with the last update coming out, Update 1.13, there was actually a lot of stuff within the game files that has now been found revolving around Season 2. So in today's video, we are going to dive into all of that information and talk about everything that we can know and expect is going to be coming throughout Season 2. And there's actually quite a bit of information, including new maps, new weapons, and some other surprises that we're going to talk about as well. Now, before we dive into the Season 2 information, I just wanted to let you guys know what's coming in tomorrow's update, just real quickly. We'll talk about that more in depth tomorrow, but they have announced a couple of things that are coming throughout this week. First of all, Shipment 24-7 is going to be returning. That one is not a surprise whatsoever. On top of that, they're adding a new game mode called Deathmatch Domination, which is a mix between Team Deathmatch and Domination. If you played Black Ops, Ops 4, they had that game mode in there, and they're introducing a new type of gunfight. It is once again going to be 2v2, however, this time they're also going to be adding some sort of way of picking your classes before you actually start the rounds. This time you might be able to choose certain attachments or other things on the weapons and differ from your opponents that way. It's kind of unclear how it's going to work at the moment, but when the update comes out tomorrow, I'll fill you guys in on that then. And then finally, between January 31st and February third there is going to be a tier sale so if you haven't fully leveled up your battle pass and you want to before the end of the event if you want to spend some money they're gonna i'm guessing being half price or something similar to that and then that would be the best time to buy those it's close to the end of the season actually kind of surprised that they're doing this and kind of glad at the same time so now that we got that out of the way let's look at season two and what we can expect once season two actually begins now first let's start by looking at the maps that we think are coming and the way that i'm getting my information here is from data miners everything that we're going to talk about today has been found within the files for modern warfare some of which have been recently added in that 1.13 update so the first of which is a new 6v6 map or an old 6v6 map which is of course backlot now backlot was in call of duty 4 and of course modern warfare remastered but other than that has never been remade for any other call of duty game now this was a map that took place in the middle east in kind of a construction zone it seemed like and is a relatively small map one interesting thing about this map is that on a couple of locations on this map there's actually mounted machine guns and i'm curious to see whether those come back in a remake of this map within modern warfare 2019 the second map is a fan favorite from modern warfare three this one is village now village is an interesting one because i can immediately think of some maps that i would prefer to this like high rise but village is one that people seem to really like in modern warfare 3 i would say it's a mid-sized map not too big but definitely i wouldn't consider it a big map most of it takes place outside which is going to make kill streaks like chopper gunners and ac 130s pretty good but it's a map like i said that people really loved within modern warfare 3 and all in all we don't actually see too many modern warfare 3 remakes so it's kind of cool to see this one be there the third map is known as harbor this is actually a remake from call of duty 2 a kind of snowy harbor and i'm interested to see what this one is like because if any of these are going to be changed a lot i'm guessing it's the map from call of duty 2 now speaking of which so far we have only talked about remake not maps no brand new maps whatsoever so there is one that we've kind of been expecting for a while but still isn't in the game it is called faraday or farada i don't know how to pronounce it but this was actually in the original trailer the very first trailer for modern warfare and we haven't seen it put into the game ever since there has been speculation that it was going to come during season one but it is still not here so maybe season two is when we'll see that one and then we have ground war and so far there were two ground war maps that were found in the game files after the last update they're called layover and boneyard both of which I believe are already within Spec Ops mission. In fact, they are both in the same Spec Ops mission. And that mission is, of course, Operation Crosswind, the one that takes place at the airport. You go up in the airplane. Now, the first section, Boneyard, is an interesting section. It's basically a giant boneyard where there's a bunch of scrapped airplanes. In fact, one of the areas in this boneyard is actually Scrapyard from Modern Warfare 2 exactly. And I'm curious if they're going to do something 
something like they did with port where one of the areas was vacant and then they put vacant as a 6v6 map so i'm wondering if scrapyard will also be coming throughout season two as well the other map was called layover i'm assuming that this is the other section of the map the actual airport section with the giant runway the air control tower and all of that kind of stuff will be in a separate ground war map so seemingly once again locations from spec ops coming back as ground war maps so essentially those are all of the maps we can have to look forward to during season two or at least the ones that i believe are most likely to come during season two the next thing we have to look at though is weapons now these ones aren't nearly as confirmed as those maps but the things that we have seen is number one the vector now there is actually gameplay of someone using this and as you can see here it looks very much like a vector other people are saying that it looks like an apc9 i don't know enough about weapons to tell the difference that's just what i've seen online but assumably since the crossbow was actually leaked at the same time as this weapon i would assume that this vector or apc9 will be coming at the start of season two also it would make sense because we haven't yet had a dlc smg weapon the other thing that we recently saw within a finishing move is someone who is actually using a ballistic knife obviously this has not in modern warfare right now nor has a ballistic knife ever been in an infinity ward game so if this one were to come i would be quite surprised by it the next thing as far as operators goes in season one we got two i would assume we'll get two once again with season two and the one that we're all suspecting is of course ghost now we've seen some teasers on television screens and recently as of the last update we got this little easter egg on piccadilly to make us suspect ghost is coming as well so once we hear more about that of course i'll make a more in-depth video simply about that but as of right now that's the only one we can actually expect to come another thing that we have seen is new game modes now there's a bunch of game modes that were listed out to be found within the game files but two of them have actually gotten emblems associated them after the 1.13 update the first of which that we have here is called all or nothing this game mode has been in both infinite warfare and modern warfare fair 3 essentially a game mode where you spawn in with a knife and a pistol with no bullets in it and then once you stab someone you get bullets for the gun and then you try to get 20 kills fastest it's a free-for-all game mode uh, this one i'm kind of surprised about i thought we would see a lot of other stuff before this and then the other one is one in the chamber i don't think i need to explain that one to you guys but i would expect that would be coming probably at the launch of season two the next thing is battle royale there's a big rumor going around right now that battle royale is going to be coming out with the launch of season two i don't think that's a thing but why are people saying this let's start with that first of all it was rumored to come out in january we are getting very close to the end of january beginning of february so timing wise it would make sense on top of that season two got delayed a lot of people are saying rumors that season two got delayed because they weren't done battle royale yet I doubt that, but it is a possibility. The second reason is when 1.13 came out for Modern Warfare, this image that you're seeing on screen was found within the game files. This is a high-res image of both Tavorsk and Port put together. A lot of people are saying, since the Battle Royale is rumored to take place in Verdansk, this would make sense for a loading screen for Battle Royale. I personally don't think that, mainly because they did say at the beginning of the game they wanted to get Ground War up to 100 player matches, and it would make sense for them to combine Tavorsk and Port as a 100 player map. But to be quite honest with you, that is all speculation. The real reason why I believe it's not coming out with season two, number one, we haven't seen anything about it. No teasers, no trailers, nothing to that nature. And I'm guessing that two weeks before launch, we would have seen something. On top of that, the second reason is that I don't think it will come at the beginning of a season. I personally think, and if I was marketing Battle Royale as a free-to-play game, it would be launched separately from Modern Warfare as its own game, its own property, and that way people don't have to buy Modern Warfare to actually play this free-to-play game. That would make a lot more sense to me, and in that case, why would they pair it with a specific season of Modern Warfare? that wouldn't make sense so my guess is that if if battle royale is even real i don't think it'll be coming out at season two my guess would be maybe after that or in the summer not 100 percent sure but i don't think it's going to be coming out with season two but guys that's pretty much all i have to say about season two everything that i think is going to be coming the maps the weapons the game modes everything that we talked about today if you did enjoy the video it is always appreciated if you do hit that like button and to stay up to date on everything modern warfare or any other call of duty game make sure you hit that subscribe button 
turn notifications on and let me know down in the comments what in the hell do you think is going on with battle royale but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time guys peace out we are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard.